it really was a wonderland working in the White House. And when I started as an intern, this was in the summer of 1993, I worked in George Stephanopoulos' office. And I was so nurtured in that office. You know, I guess when you're 18, you're, you're, you're looking for that surrogate family out in the world. Um, it was wonderful to be surrounded by people who were working really hard and you, you felt like you were going to change the country and, um, and they took you into the fold. From 1996 on, uh, I was able to do what we call uh, advance work. So that's whenever the president or the first lady travels somewhere, there's always a team that goes ahead and they do all the logistics for the trip, and then when they arrive, they, they run the trip. And I had a very specialized job, it was called the, the RON, or the RON, and I tended to, to take care of the hotel. And I made sure that everyone had all the rooms that they needed, and, um, and then if there were any events in the hotel, I would often look after them. And it was a very labor-intensive job, there were a lot of details that you had to get very correct. And, traveling internationally, you know, as the president's representative, and, you know, I, I traveled to India, to, to Vietnam, and to, to Russia, to, to Japan, and Mexico, and also Nigeria, and then, you know, the one story I tell is about, you know, being in Okinawa, and even though the job could be very difficult, and I, and I, I write about a, you know, a difficult moment I had on that trip, all in all, it, it usually was so rewarding to be out on, on the road. You know, Monica Lewinsky was our, our cautionary tale. You, you looked at what was happening to her in, in the media, and you just hoped, oh God, please don't let anything like this happen to me. And one thing I think that was so difficult during that time was that it really was like, you know, as Mrs. Clinton called it, the politics of personal destruction. You know, we didn't have three-dimensional conversations about, you know, the issues at hand, but, you know, it was just headlines being headlines being headlines, and what I wanted to create were portraits of people, you know, what it was like to be a young person in that environment who was dealing with other full human beings that had their amazing gifts and then their failings. When I worked in the White House, I felt very protected. I, I felt nurtured. I felt surrounded by people who were at the top of their game, but actually looked out for me. What I worried about was how I would be treated by people on the outside. I think everyone there lived in fear of becoming a bad story for the president. You kind of knew that even if you hadn't done anything wrong, that you could somehow get caught up in something, or maybe something from your past would come up and it would be very embarrassing. I needed to be able at some point and talk about what it was like to be a young woman, you know, in this environment with older men who do s seem to have, you know, most of the power in the room. Because I know that young women, you know, every day are, are experiencing this and there's such a pressure to be quiet. I guess the, the, the main point I, I feel of, of, the, of the book, and one thing I would say to any young person is that, or any person at all, is to remember that you have choices in this life. You have the choice to adhere to your principles. Uh, you have the choice to leave a situation that feels uncomfortable. You have the choice, um, you know, to, well, to stick to stick with a situation that may be strange but you, you know, want to try to make it work. To not to feel that you have to become something that you're not 